Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ryan House with Cumberland Chiropractic and Sports Medicine. And this is also Dr. Moore, but he's gonna be our guinea pig, so let's call him Patient Ryan, okay? So, um, we today are gonna be talking about uh, our month's topic, which is, this coming month, is how we get you better faster, okay? How we get you better faster. We're trying to put our money where our mouth is, if you will. So, one of the ways that we get you better faster is we find the source of the problem, okay? Let's just say a person's got back pain. If their back pain is coming from a crazy problem in their foot, knee, hip, if you just work on the back, you'll absolutely never get them better. We pride ourselves on finding that source of the problem. Two ways we find that source of the problem. Number one, body reading. Thank you, Tom Myers, for teaching, but Body reading is a way that we can literally read dysfunctions in the body. So if it's coming from the back, I blind myself for a second and check the whole body, okay? That's body reading. Number two, the diagnostic algorithm, okay? I'm gonna show you on Patient Ryan today, I'm gonna show you a way that we incorporate body reading, the diagnostic algorithm, and then actually applying that to getting him better faster. Thank you for watching. So Dr. Moore has had some back pain come up recently and we saved this just for you guys. So um, number one secret weapon that we're gonna use to figure out his back pain, okay, is body reading. I literally step back, get the big picture view like you all have, and I study details of his support system, like pretend like he's a bridge, okay? So I'm gonna point out to you guys some things that I've already found in assessing his body. Number one, if you can really get picky with me, his left foot turns out. Every time, he can march in place and stop again and his left foot's gonna turn out, okay? There is something to that, okay? Let's look up the chain a little bit. At his arch, right, so arch is kind of this inside of the foot, it dives in on this left side, okay? Keep going. Up the chain here, his kneecap is facing pretty much you guys. His kneecap's facing you guys, but his toes are not facing you guys. That means his knee is twisting and diving. Twisting and diving. I can guess that at his pelvis, next section up, there's also gonna be some contorting going on, okay? So let's kind of point out a couple of places. If I put my finger on this bump, called the ASIS, okay? And if I put my other finger on the other bump, there it is, called the ASIS. Hopefully you guys can see that that left ASIS, the one that the foot and knee are not supporting, is low. Simple as this, our body reading told me about his dysfunction that leads him to have a crooked pelvis and you can't have a happy back with a crooked pelvis. That's body reading for this patient. So through that body reading, we found a bully for his victim, right? Don't forget, he's got back pain, right? But first of all, I have to fix this support system. So I'm gonna do that. We have not touched his pain yet, okay? But his bully, we have really worked hard to make him have a more straight support system and a level pelvis, that's our goal. So you can probably see he doesn't want to turn that left foot out as much. I even asked him, I said, are you doing that on purpose? Don't, don't do it just for the video. And he's like, no, it just feels like that's the comfortable position. Fine, that foot is not near as turned out, that's wonderful, but the proof is at the pelvis, right? So here's, Here's right ASIS, right there, okay, right ASIS. Here is left ASIS right there, and I'm behind so I can't really even tell, but that should be quite a bit more level, okay? I know what you're thinking because our patients ask us this all the time, 
how in the world did that work? Well, that's for another video, okay? Um, the second question is, will that stay that way? Will that stay more level at my pelvis? And the answer is yes, maybe, okay? With his situation, I'm almost certain he's gonna need either foot training or an orthotic underneath his foot. That way it supports that arch symmetrically with the other one. Um, secondly, we talk about rehab in our office all the time. So we will rehabilitate a better pattern, a better support system for that left leg. So keep the pelvis level all the time. All right, number two in our list of things we've got to accomplish. He's got back pain, okay? That secret weapon we're gonna use to figure out the details of his back pain are move him in positions that usually cause his back pain and see if I can feel exactly what tightens up when he moves, all right? So his pain always happens in the evening. I'm not with him in the evening. And he's like, no, I don't have any back pain right now. So I'm gonna have to just use ranges of motion that normal backs go through to find where his problem is, okay? So he's got low right back pain, okay? In that low right zone, I am gonna cover everything in the area. Then I'm gonna have Dr. Moore lean to the left. Okay, when he leans right then, right when he leaned, there was a spot right there under my fingers that tightened up abnormally. Not like a symphony like normal muscles should do, but all at once this thing jerked, okay? Let's lean to the right like we're shortening this zone over here, okay? And that spot that I just felt stays hard, it should be pliable now because the muscles are short and slacked, okay? Back in the middle, twist left, Yep, I still got the same thing. Tightening up, twist right. Okay, back in the middle. All right, really quick, there are two muscles that run the entire length of the back. Those two muscles lay right beside each other parallel. They have an interface, a place where one and the other touch. They should be able to slide, but his don't. I want you to pretend that the bully left behind wear and tear and wear and tear is in the form of scar tissue or what I call Velcro, right? His up and down running parallel muscles are Velcroed together right here because his bully has beaten up his victim. All right, I'm gonna fix that for you. So our topic that we're covering for this month is how we get you better faster. This is a tough-ish case only because it's 10 in the morning. His back never hurts until the very end of the day. So he can't really say, man, I can feel it right now. It's right. It's not as easy as you know him being able to describe it. So um, that case sometimes gets thrown into a bucket of roll your right, roll your left, pop everything we can, send you home with some canned rehab exercises, and sometimes those cases just never get better, okay? Um, with those diagnostic algorithm of finding where exactly his pain is without him even feeling it, and then number two, being able to find that source, that um, body reading uh, tool that we have, that will get this patient the results he needs because we found the actual problem, even though it wasn't that evident to start. If you've got a difficult case, either it just hasn't responded, or you feel like it's got you got problems everywhere, or you never feel it when the mechanics around. So uh, I hope you understand what I mean. But um, then come see us. We would love to help you. We'll use these kind of tools that we use all the time to fix you and get you better faster.